Hello guys, Steph here and uh, I'm gonna do here a tutorial, a kind of tutorial in uh, PowerDirector 14 um, because yeah, some people ask me uh, how I edit my videos and uh, what camera I use and, and what recorder um, many questions about the bike vlogs how I do the sound recording, how I do the synchronization of the sound um, many things, so why not uh, show you a little bit here in Power Director how I make my movies. Um, this is a short movie I shot uh, from a Philippine band. Philippine band, how you say that? It's only a short movie, about uh, three four minutes, but uh, it's good enough to explain you uh, how I do the editing of that. I'm here already halfway my editing. Um, maybe I will show you the synchronization process. Uh, maybe I start here a new uh, project. So I'm gonna import uh, the three uh, media files that I need for this video. So here I have my three media files. I'm gonna import them first. So I got them here in this window. And um, these are two camera files that I made from a different viewpoint and one uh, sound recording that I recorded separate uh, from the camera. So let's import these first. It's not important uh, where I put them. Um, I will explain you later. So, this is the uh, first setup that I made. And as you can see, I put this camera sideways in the front of the band. And uh, this camera, I uh, did in front of the band, as you can see. This has better quality also. And I also walked uh, around the band with this camera to show you more details uh, of the keyboard player and uh, things. So I'm gonna synchronize uh, these three files with the sound. As you can see here, the top layer here is the video file and beneath there is the sound file. So every camera has also a sound file and this one also. And this is the sound file only that I did with my recorder. It's a stereo recorder. So I'm gonna synchronize these now and it's very easy. I just select them all and then I push this uh, button here, synchronize. This can take some time, uh, but if you have a fast computer it goes uh, pretty fast. As you can see here, it's almost finished now. As you can see they jumped now. So at this point in the video, uh, this is where all the three are synchronized there. So I'm gonna put out these ones. So I can only hear the recording of the sound recorder. So I'm gonna increase the level here a little bit. And let's hear what they have to play. Hmm? <laughs> see perfectly synchronized I put now the sound of one camera on so you have now two sound sources but of course this sound of the camera is not so good as you can see also this one it's very bad it's even worse So, but I'm gonna use this uh, part also from here where uh, the sound recording started. Uh, I can cut that off here, make it a little bit bigger here, and delete it. Put that out the sound so I can hear only the sound recorder. 
but of course this camera is not so as not so good quality as the other camera so I have to improve this video also but I will explain you that later so I'm gonna jump now to my half finished editing already and then we talk from there okay okay guys so we are back uh, in this screen here where I already did some work uh, for a heads up this was the camera in front where I worked uh, with the camera show you a little bit here so I want to keep this my uh, main window and I'm gonna keep this camera here uh, in the background or in the little uh, picture in picture here as you can see I think this is the most beautiful so you can see all the details here of the keyboard player and then uh, this side camera you can see uh, here in the corner click here change base again I'm sorry this is a Dutch uh, language but maybe later when I'm gonna do the tutorials uh, I will put on the English version here so it's easier to follow for you so uh, the text here you can center this and make it bigger and then I have a text file here this is a little tip if you do synchronizing I keep a little bit of the original uh, sound of the camera here at the end of the movie so when I must lose my synchronization I still can uh, recover it here so I can expand that uh, over the all length and then do a synchronization again so this is just a little tip you can later uh, delete this uh, but I just keep it here in case of maybe yeah I did here some effects for you to show um, what else you can do with the uh, video improve the video quality because here it was very reddish as you can see I wanted to make that better um, I think I did that here already this is better here of course you cannot get it perfect uh, but it's it, this is the best what I could do with it here's some more effects here but you can see that later when the video is uh, finished and then I will uh, upload the original video also what I made here I think uh, that would be interesting to see the process of the video and then later see the actual video I hope you enjoyed it a little bit for me it's also new uh, to do some teaching here as you call it teaching it's not really teaching it's more uh, an inside view how to edit uh, the movies so here I cut this video here maybe I can do this here also at the end so I cut it here so now I have two files that I can work with here uh, from two cameras so this was the original file, I just made it smaller here but I can do that also here uh, more advanced so I can do it here, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller but I think about this size and here in this corner so yeah maybe I have to put it here in the upper corner so I can see the rest of the band uh, I have to figure that out later but here you have your uh, PIP, picture in picture and you can do everything with that of course uh, a border are already made a black one here but uh, I'm gonna turn off this shadow here it's not so beautiful in this way yeah, you can flip it you can do anything with this of course fade it in fade it out always beautiful so we have uh, a gradient uh, opposite of the video uh, how you say that uh, op opposite doorsichtigheid uh, um, can figure the English word at this moment. I think opposite the sea throneness or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, you, you can see pop up the window now in a smooth way. 
Okay, um, so I have to figure that out first, where to put it. It's all a little bit slow now, of course, because I'm recording my screen also, and this takes a lot of uh, processor power now. I can move this around the corner from there to there. So this I do with the keyframes. It's a little bit more uh, difficult to explain. Uh, but if you are really interested, I can explain you that all. Um, this is not so easy to do, the keyframes. Suppose I want to start here in the video from this corner. So I put the keyframes here from this position and with this scale. And then I want to move to that point. So this window will move uh, to the left corner, left upper corner here. And I want to do that in that position over that time period. So I'm going to move now my window to there. So these are keyframes. You can keyframe anything here in your video. Um, the opacity here. You can keyframe the masks, uh, everything. So let me show you that. I'm sorry, it's a little bit slower now because I'm recording the screen. I told you that before. So let's see how this window moves now. It goes in shocks now, of course. But later when the video is produced, then it will be very smoothly. I'm gonna do some more editing now, uh, finish this video, and then uh, I will try to upload it tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload them together, as in one file where I show you here the tutorial, and then later also the finished product, the finished video. Or I do that in two uploads. I'm, I'm not sure yet. It depends on the size of the files and, and, and the, the length of the video. So guys, I'm back here and I almost finished my video here. I put in a few fade outs here. Uh, an end title. Something like that. Something like this. But um, I added some more uh, music here. It's another Tracy Chapman cover um, that I recorded in a Joni bar a few weeks ago when I was still in Pattaya. And I also added some text here. I think you should read this. I think it's interesting about what happened that evening with that band here. I'm not gonna go into details now. Uh, you can see the movie when I uploaded it. And um, I also put here the other cover from uh, Give Me a Reason from Tracy Chapman that I recorded in a Joni bar. So you can hear the difference between two bands who play the same cover. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, which one was the best. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to hear that. Maybe play it from here. This is from Journey's Bar. Uh, in Soy Bacau. I did a video earlier about that. So I think I have to put a link in here. Uh, to Journey's Bar, that video. So you can click that link and you go directly to that video. Uh, I will do that in here later. Um, so this is the music from the Joni bar and this is still the music from the bar here yeah I recorded this uh, video they are not bad also this band uh, I must uh, admit that but the keyboard player was too busy to show off how good he could play, you know, and that uh, I think that ruined a little bit the song here. That was a pity. For the rest, I like this song very much from Tracy Chapman. But uh, the Joni Bar, they did more blues rock version of it, as you can hear with the good.
good guitar play here. This is more my style. So yeah, this was it. I'm gonna finish this uh, movie here, and then uh, I hope you will. I hope you liked it. What I did here, give you an inside view how I make the videos here, and uh, see you next time. Uh, please let me also know in the comments if you want to see uh, some tutorials about PowerDirector 14. So I start with the beginning, how uh, to import the movies, how to cut them, how to pass them. Um, explain you about the layers here, how you can level up the sound here, uh, anything, how you can apply effects, um, how you must produce the video. So this is the rendering side here. You can see here, you can put it in AV, MPEG, uh, AVC here. I usually use here uh, H264 AVC. That has the best quality in my opinion. Also 60 frames per second here. If you're interested, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, maybe I was thinking to make uh, a second channel about uh, PowerDirector 14 and how to edit movies. But uh, maybe I will list them also in my Steph Thailand channel. I, I don't know yet. So let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, it would be a great help for me. See you. Bye bye.